Hello everyone, this is Yaling Jr. So unfortunately, the U.S. federal government is not going to go ahead and pursue this case here with uh, the death of Shankilla Robinson when she vacationed with her so-called acquaintances at San Jose del Cabo, Mexico, right? Uh, it's back in November. So originally, when they found out that, you know, it was all over World Star, all over Black Twitter, and she was humiliated, okay? Uh, it was actually videos of them plotting. You know, they were like in a room by themselves or they was in a room, you know, amongst themselves. And she was just like, you know, walking around. And she was filming like, hey, what's going on? She was trying to get ready to go in the pool. But it looks like, you know, they were setting her up. OK, now, according to the video, she was uh, naked, pulled out of the shower and she was getting beat. You know, literally severely and it was to the point that you know she lost her life now according to the autopsy which is pretty accurate the autopsy stated that all right she had she suffered trauma through her neck and her spine okay and their friends was think, saying that oh well she died due to alcohol poisoning but that was not the case and this is the type of evil that was going on your so-called friends right just fighting you and they decided like hey you know we're gonna commit a crime and get rid of her in this country in another country you know even though she paid for it she's a, a smart beautiful woman entrepreneur and uh when i found out too i was doing later research because i made a video about this before she ended up paying for the whole trip shakrilla robson paid for the whole trip and i think it was a lot of jealousy going on too and uh it's just it's just completely bad man it's it's really unfortunate my thing is if you had an issue with her a grown person would have been like all right i was just gonna cut ties of her i'm not gonna talk to her i'm not even gonna go on this trip i'm not gonna allow her to fund this trip i'm just gonna go about my business argue with her or things of that nature you don't have to go ahead and take her life and then too those bystanders that were standing around they should be charged as well and i, I was just kind of sad too because they're not gonna prosecute this people say oh it's outside their jurisdiction but what people fail to realize is that you know i've Back in the late 90s, 1998, we signed like the extradition treaty, the 12897, I believe. And, um, you know, that's for, you know, if someone, you know, committed a crime or things of that nature and you work with the Mexican government, they will be in custody due to the requesting party. And, you know, they can go ahead and pursue this. It just goes to show you that they don't care about black women. The criminal justice system did not they kind of fell in the family really um benjamin crump i know he's talking to the highest level of government to go ahead and you know some people to pursue this the fbi was stating that hey it's not enough criminal um evidence there's no evidence really not enough evidence to go ahead and pursue this case so that's why they want to go ahead and dismiss this even though they issue arrest warrants back in november due to femicide because they're thinking like oh well maybe because you know it was alleged because she was a victim of a friend or things of that nature or whatever but it's not this was not the case you know they humiliated her um they wanted to you know get rid of her because i believe they was just jealous of her success or whatever man and i just just pray man just go to show you that man everybody's not your friend and i just wish she she would have had someone in her corner and it's on it's unfortunate like i said again i, I talked about this uh, last year and i was doing my due diligence to go ahead and make another video about Shankola Robinson. And I'm going to pray for the family too, because it's just a kind of evil. You just going to watch somebody get beat and you're recording it and telling her to fight back. And you knew what was going on. So you decided to go on this trip that was funded by your friend that got beat and you're not doing nothing about it. And then have the audacity to go back to the States and make up a story says, oh, she died to alcohol poisoning. Oh, we, you know, it was just a wild night. And uh, I don't think she really have any uh, too much alcohol in her system to get to that point to have alcohol poisoning. So, um, you know, it, it's just it's just it's just really bad, man. And I'm um, sad and it's embarrassing uh, to the United States as well. Uh, criminal justice system. And I want to say this, too. I mean, you know, even though they may not receive justice, but they're going to receive justice from the most high. You know, so you reap what you sow. Right. You know, they may get get away with it in the world in this world here. But um, spiritually, no. You know, they still have to pay a price for that. You know, God detests, you know, um, shed blood from the innocent, right? You know, innocent is just uh, just being taken advantage of. So, and that's one of my um, ridiculous pet peeves. I hate that. I hate when innocent people are getting taken advantage for no apparent reason, man, due to their own malice, right? So, um, but with Shaquille B. Robinson, hopefully this will be a reverse and that the FBI will go ahead and do this. But, I mean, it's up to the Mexican authorities, but you know how the Mexican government is corrupted. <laughs> so they the cartel pretty much runs that country it's just it's just a really crazy situation man so i'm gonna have a link in an article um in the description box you guys can go ahead and do some further reading but yeah so rest in peace to Shaquilla robinson like comment subscribe share this video it's your boy only jr i'm out deuces